Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Mina. Welcome to my channel Mina Reads and today I'm going to be taking you book shopping with me. So it is the day after Christmas and Barnes & Noble is having a 50% off all hardcovers in store sale. So I have some Christmas money that's burning a hole in my pocket and we're just going to go to Barnes & Noble and see what they have. I'm really excited about this. I might also stop by at my favorite used bookstore and I'll take you along with me there as well. And yeah, I'm really excited about this. So stay tuned. Hey babes, so I am back from my uh, Barnes & Noble excursion and I'm going to show you the stuff that I got from there uh, and then I'll show you all the things that I got from my second bookstore that I went to uh, which was an independent bookstore called Last Word Books. Um, but yeah, before we get into that, I'm going to show you what I got from Barnes & Noble. 
So my Barnes & Noble trip was very um, interesting. The 50% off sale that uh, Barnes & Noble was doing for all their hardcovers, they started that yesterday and I got there today obviously and I mean it was picked through. It was picked through. The shelves was ran through like everything was in paperback. Literally everything was in paperback. That was pretty much it. It was so hard finding things. Um, that I was interested in at least that were still in hardcover because they had primarily paperbacks and I know that I went there specifically looking for a few titles and I wasn't able to find them oh I wanted to get The Killing Moon by N.K. Jemisin I don't necessarily think The Killing Moon is in hardcover at all but I wanted to get The Killing Moon because I'm going to be doing a book club thing with Erin from Booked and Busy and we're doing like a read-along for the Dream Blood duology so I wanted to grab The Killing Moon so I could be prepared but they just didn't have that either um they were just sold out of so much stuff it was kind of crazy and it was so busy and i feel like everybody everybody that i saw there was a couple everybody was there with their boo and their boo was holding their books for them while they were browsing and i want that for me so bad so 2022 is the year of me finding a boo so that we can go to the bookstore together and be cute because i need that for me asap so i ended up getting two books from barnes and noble because like i said was a bit difficult um but i did end up getting two books so the first book that i got was king of battle and blood by scarlet st Clair, and this author is really popular on tiktok um she seems to be most popular for her hades and persephone retelling series i feel like that book is called like a touch of darkness or something like that um she seems really popular for that so i have been wanting to give that author a try but honestly hades and persephone is just not my just not my thing I, I just don't care about retellings of them it does nothing for me so I'm so glad that I was able to find this It's a different series of hers and it's about this girl named Isolde and I believe she in this arranged marriage with this like vampire king and she has intentions to kill him on their wedding night but things don't go as planned and he's still alive and he's angry with her and you know this is just one of those like fantasy romance enemies to lovers type deals Can y'all hear my family yelling in the background? Anyway, so yeah, I'm glad that I found this. Uh, it sounds fun. My friend Erin, she recently was reading this and she seemed to be enjoying it. Seems like it should be a good time. I've been wanting to try this author. The cover is pretty. It's fantasy romance, arranged marriage trope. I feel like I'm going to eat it up. Hopefully I'm going to absolutely love it. And yeah, I'm glad I grabbed this one. And then I grabbed Velvet Was the Night by Silvia Moreno Garcia. I was also looking for a different Sylvia Moreno Garcia. I was looking for uh, certain dark things, but I couldn't find it. Well, I did find it, but they had it in paperback, and I was hoping they would have a hardcover, but they didn't, so I just was like, eh, whatever. So I ended up getting Velvet Was the Night instead, so I could capitalize on this sale at least a little bit. And uh, Velvet Was the Night is like this noir thriller. I believe it's supposed to be set in like the 60s or the 70s. I don't know. I don't know exactly what the plot of this one is but I don't want to know too much going in because I like to be super surprised when it comes to a thriller. I don't want to know anything about it. I just want to go in completely blind. So that's my intention but I do really love Sylvia Moreno Garcia and after reading The Beautiful Ones and that being one of my favorite books of 2021, I need to read everything that Sylvia Moreno Garcia has ever written and so this is going to be you know the next one on my list and I'm really excited about it. Shopping at Last Store Bookshop is always so interesting because it is such a vast and chaotic kind of store like it's just mountainous shelves and books everywhere and there is like an organization system like every aisle is super specific like they have like a drama and poetry aisle they have classics they have like gay fiction they have non-fiction of all types like spirituality stuff like that then they have like literary fiction mystery they have everything there and it is like all well categorized and stuff and like alphabetized and everything but it's just so overwhelming like the amount of books in there and like the size of the bookshelves but I absolutely love being in there. I just love the vibe. I love the atmosphere. It's just so wonderful and there's also like this bookstore cat named Millie there and I just love her so much. So anytime I go book shopping especially if I shop with like Barnes and Noble or Amazon or something I like to go to Last Word Bookshop as well. I love a good local bookstore and so always have to support. Uh, so yeah went there and I was able to get three things. These three books were the exact same price that I paid for these two books from Barnes & Noble. So again, we love an independent used bookstore. So 
I got Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. And this is a pandemic kind of story, actually, which is hitting a little bit close to home now that, you know, we've got this little this new variant going on but um this is essentially a dystopian i believe it's about like this troupe of actors or something and it's set like there was some kind of flu outbreak and civilization has essentially collapsed and i believe they're kind of like just a survivor group like sticking together um and i'm interested to see how this is going to go because everyone seemed to really love this book a few years ago i haven't heard too much about it recently but i do know that like everyone was talking about this in their wrap-ups in like 2017 2018 and it was just like getting a lot of buzz so i want to see what the hype was about and i want to read it then i got the martian this is another book that people used to be really hyped about um and it does have like a movie adaptation and i have seen the movie and i really enjoyed it so i decided that i'd pick it up and see if andy weir might be an author for me and if he has any more books that i'd be interested in maybe if i like this one so the martian is about this guy mark watney and he is an astronaut and basically something goes wrong on one of his missions and they believe that mark is actually dead so they leave him on mars and lo and behold he's still alive and so he has to figure out a way to keep himself alive for the next year or two while nasa gets everything together so that they can send a second space mission out to retrieve him from the surface of mars but yeah since i already like the story i'm hoping that that means that i'm gonna love the book you know but yeah we'll have to see and finally i got swing time by zadie smith and i don't know what the plot of this book is like whatsoever but i read a few articles by zadie smith um last semester for my women in fiction class um and she just has some really interesting and insightful things to say and i love like the articles and the essays that we read from her so i decided i wanted to pick up one of her fiction novels so i got swing time um i know nothing about it i don't know any of the receptions to it. i don't know if people like it if people hate it whatever I don't know I don't care I just decided that I wanted to pick it up and hopefully I'm gonna love it um because I want to explore Zadie's backlist and like read some of her nonfiction and her essay collections as well but who knows when I'll grab those next but we'll see I'm gonna try this one first so this is my little bookstore haul um and yeah I have fun going to the bookstore I always love going to the bookstore and being around other bookish people and talking to them because at last word bookshop um me and the I believe he's the owner because I always see him there and I feel like he's the only person that works there, like him and this one lady. So I think he's the owner. And anyway, we were talking about the books that I selected and he was like, oh, I really love The Martian and blah, blah, blah. And we were just talking about that while I checked out. And that was so cool. And then I got to talk to the cashier at Barnes & Noble about Silvio Moreno Garcia and how much we both love her. And it was just a nice experience and I loved it. Um, I haven't been getting out much because, you know, being cautious with the pandemic and everything. But I just feel like this was a nice way to treat myself post Christmas and to spend some of my Christmas money. So yeah, love this for me. I had a good time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will hopefully see you all in my next one. Bye guys!